everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've just finished getting ready for the day as you've seen. I'm excited because it is Sebastian's um, like Easter hat parade at his class and they're doing an Easter egg hunt. And I'm really excited because like this year has been like the first year, cause it's the first year he's ever been in school, but it's the first year that I also feel like, like a mom when it comes to like school things because um, he only goes half day. So I don't pack his lunch and you know, there's only a few things, especially with like the COVID precautions they take at a school that the parents have been able to be a part of this year. So for them to invite us to the school to be a part of the Easter stuff today, it's like been so much fun because we haven't really been able to do anything. But anyway, I just finished my makeup. I'm gonna quickly curl my hair, but I'll do that off camera. This is today's look for the most part. I showed you my dress and I can show it to you on downstairs. I'm vlogging for the entire weekend. Kind of take you all through what we're doing this weekend. It's gonna be pretty crummy with the weather, so I'm not quite sure. But our neighborhood is having an Easter thing tomorrow, and then um, tonight I'm supposed to go to my friend Morgan's house. You've seen Morgan um, on my channel before. She's doing a trunk show for Matilda Jane. I probably, I don't think I'll film that though because it's at her house and there's gonna be other people there, and I just don't know if I wanna have to explain why I have a camera out. But um, I can tell you guys about that after. And then Easter is, in two days so we're gonna go to chateau Elan for lunch we're not gonna cook this year and i'm so excited to not have that on my to-do list <laughs> anyway i'm just finishing getting ready putting finishing touches on before i get dressed my jewelry is already on i am wearing some new pieces that i got from ana luisa this is the loco necklace and i'm actually working with ana luisa on this portion of the video they are currently running a Mother's Day buy one get one 40% off sale. So you guys may wanna take advantage of that before Mother's Day next month. So you have plenty of time, but definitely get in there if you are looking to purchase some jewelry or need a gift for your mom or a mom in your life. They have a ton of different styles on their website. I personally love Ana Luisa jewelry for not just special occasions, but for everyday wear. I wear it every single day and it's fine jewelry, but you're not getting that ridiculously high cost because they cut out the middleman, which allows them to not have to make a luxury markup. And that's really nice for those of us who want fine jewelry, but don't necessarily want to break the bank for it. Another piece of jewelry I recently got from Ana Luisa is this Elise necklace. I'm gonna put it on for you guys real quick. This is the Elise necklace and it is a beautiful pear-shaped stone. I love it, it is so elegant, but you can also wear this with your regular everyday streetwear or you know, if you have a more elevated day-to-day -day look, it would look good either way. I absolutely love it. I am wearing the local necklace today, but I'll probably wear this tomorrow just you know, for the weekend and Easter weekend because it looks so pretty and elegant. Also, the Elise necklace comes as a gift set as well. So you can either purchase the necklace or you can um, purchase the earrings and then you can purchase them all three as a set to give to someone. And I think it would be beautiful or if you wanna match with your own mom or a friend of yours who's a mom and you're thinking about a Mother's Day gift, you can do, you know, buy the set and let her have the earrings and you have the necklace or vice versa. I think that that would be great for the holiday. Mother's Day is just such a precious time for me. I love my mom so much and so the thought of gifting her with a beautiful piece of jewelry really warms my heart and I think that if you have a woman in your life who's a mother or your own mother that Ana Luisa would be a great choice for the Mother's Day holiday this year because then they have something that you've given them that they can wear every single day and think of you and I think that that's nice and then the last two pieces which is I, mean, I guess you can wear them at the same time or one at a time are these beautiful hair clips and I think that these are fun because hair clips have ha definitely had a time in the last couple years. We've seen like a lot with like pearled hair clips and things like that, but I thought that these looked really pretty and really elegant. Like I said, Ana Luisa jewelry can like jazz up any outfit, whether it's a casual outfit or a nice, you know, occasion outfit. But I think these could really make just a low messy bun look a little bit prettier or a pretty like hairstyle look phenomenal. I like how they're a little bit different, but would be pretty to wear at the same time. And I'm definitely planning on wearing these this summer just to give my everyday style a little pick-me-up. So if you're looking for some hair clips that are like elegant and pretty, definitely 
definitely check these out and I'm sure that you will love them. Another great thing about Ana Luisa that I've always loved and I've talked about it before is that they are 100% carbon neutral but now they are also 100% water neutral and something that I've recently learned about them that I find is really nice is any of their nearly imperfect returned pieces of jewelry are never like disposed of inappropriately. They are never in a landfill. They're donated to Dress for Success so that they can continue to expand and have an even bigger community of conscious jewelry wears. And that is something that I absolutely love. I never feel guilty about the jewelry that I'm wearing knowing that the company that has made it from start to finish has done it in the most ethically and sustainable way. And if you're looking to just have a little bit of an impact, consider wearing Ana Luisa jewelry because not only will you look beautiful, but you'll also be doing a little something good for our world. And if everyone makes a little change, we can make a bigger impact. So again, thank you so much for Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of my video. Don't forget, this is a buy one, get one 40% off sale for Mother's Day. Get something special for the mother in your life. I know you all will love it. And now I need to go get dressed. <laughs> Before we head out, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at my outfit. I, of course, have on my Ana Luisa necklace and then this beautiful dress from Image Boutique, which I can link below. I have my Rothy sneakers on, which I've talked about um, in another video. These are the ones that I actually wore to Disneyland and I definitely plan on wearing them when we go to Disney World in a couple weeks. Marco, you wanna show us your outfit? This is a Jamie K outfit. You're so silly. The pants are Jamie K as well and then the shoes are Target and the little bow is Amazon. Also, if anyone's ever tried Water Drop, I think this brand is pretty cool. I just popped the lime green coffee in, I do not even know how to pronounce that word, so I'm not going to, but in my drink. And yeah, it tastes really good. So um, they sent over a bunch of these. I'll talk about them on Instagram. And yeah, but I'm testing out this drink. I'll let you guys know if I even like it. I'm gonna be testing it for a couple weeks. But um, come on, come on, sissy, let's go. This morning when Brandon took Bash to school, he, he called me, he FaceTimed me, and I was still like laying in bed, and I was like, what's going on? Like, why is he FaceTiming me right now? And he flipped the camera around, and there is a huge crack in my windshield. I'm gonna show you. Look at this. All the way from here down to here. Like, what? It literally happened overnight. I'm not used to using my backup, like, camera detection yet, because my Jeep didn't have that, so I'm constantly just always looking back over my shoulder. But anyway, it literally happened overnight. I, I have no idea where it came from. Luckily though, the car is new and we have great insurance, so he's going to take it to get fixed on Monday. Today is Friday for reference, so I'll be driving around with a broken windshield for a few days, but it's fine. It's better than, I mean, I don't know, not being able to get it fixed. I just, I'm so like baffled as to when and how. It actually has two cracks now that I'm seeing it, and it, it seems to be going around the base of my rear view mirror. Gosh, I have no idea because when I drove the car yesterday, nothing hit me as far as I know. Nothing dropped on the car that I saw and it was not there <laughs> when I pulled it into the garage um, last night. In fact, we took a walk yesterday as a family and I got into the car to get my um, garage opener. I still need to program it the car to the opener so I don't have to carry this around in the car anymore. But it wasn't there either. I guess whatever small damage it was there grew overnight and my brand new car <laughs> has a crack in the windshield, but that's okay. Also, um, I filmed an entire like car tour, but I got self-conscious about um, sharing it because I just didn't want to come off as like, look at me in my new car, especially since, I mean, it's not like a luxury vehicle, but I love my car. So maybe since I'm vlogging this entire weekend, um, at some point I'll, I can just talk to you about, like, just show you the car and insert some of the B-roll footage I took for that video. I don't know, I just felt kind of, like, strange, and I, people have asked me to show a car tour, and I said I would, but I don't, I, so I filmed it, but I just felt a little, like, I didn't want to come off as, like, show-off-y. So, yeah, I actually even filmed the day, so I have a few vlogs that I didn't upload from the past three weeks. Someone in my last video, Margot's clothing haul video, left me a little bit of a mean comment. I ended up deleting it, but um, it was saying how, why didn't I vlog anything over the last several weeks? My Instagram's been better than my YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And I just told her, you don't know why I haven't been uploading in the past three weeks and to show compassion. I have been vlogging, but I didn't upload, and there's a reason why I'm just not gonna share it. But um, anyway, I 
had the vlog from when my car broke down on the freeway, my Jeep, which led me to buy this one. I filmed when I bought this one. I just didn't upload any of it. So I'm happy to catch everyone up to date and go from here. In a nutshell, and we can talk about it later, my Jeep died on the freeway. I had to get it from the left lane all the way to the right lane. I was on the phone with my friend while she was like, you know, on Bluetooth, so she could hear me literally struggling to pull my car over. I was on my way to an influencer event and I was so excited to go because we haven't been out in almost two years as far as like doing things with social media and stuff. And so I was happy to be going somewhere and there was a couple girls I wanted to meet, but oh well, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't get to go, but I got a new car out of it, so it's fine. So I'll try to show you the car later. And um, yeah, this is my first brand new ever car. I've never had a brand new car before. I've always bought used cars because it just seemed like the best thing to do. But the used car market right now, not it oh that is good that water drop oh yeah love that I'm gonna be doing that one again that's lime and green coffee so maybe it'll give me a little pick-me-up okay so see you ready we're here we made it to Sebastian's Easter thing and all the parents are outside so I don't think I'm gonna film but I'll bring my camera just in case Did you have fun? Yes. Did you like your Easter egg hunt? Yeah. You got a lot of eggs, huh? Well, I have a lot of bubbles. Yeah, you have a little bubble popper thing. You wanna go home and do some Easter balloons? Yes. Yeah, that's gonna be so fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Margo's ready too. Yeah. So we've made it home. The kids are eating a snack. They're just having some bunny grims and those nature's bakery bars. Um, in the playroom, which I'm about to clean up a little bit and then we're gonna do some Easter balloons and an Easter craft. Here's some of the books that I put out for um, the Easter weekend. Somebody gave me a good tip on my Instagram to only buy seasonal and holiday books and then the rest of the books just get from the library and then if they like those books, then purchase them because I had a lot of books my kids didn't like. So I recently purchased Guess How Much I Love You, Peter Rabbit because it's a classic. Then I got Town Mouse, Country Mouse from the library so I need to take that back. Bunny Roo, I Love You I just bought and I bought Marshmallow. The rest of the books we own and this is a part of their seasonal spring Easter collection. How about this one? Which one? That's I Love You. Oh, guess how much I love you? You wanna read that later? Yes. Okay. And that, my friends, is 72-ish balloons. Uh, we lost a couple, but um, but yeah. All right, it's the next day. We're about to go run some errands. There's a line. This line's moving pretty fast. Should be quick because I'm just giving them these bags. He's probably traumatized after the <laughs> what that lady in front of me just gave him. Oh no, he's walking off. Okay. Hi. Good, just these two bags, that's it. Okay. Would you like me to see? Um, no, it's okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, be safe, okay? Thank you, bye-bye. All right, now I have to go to the library and drop this book off so I don't get a notice. How cute is our little library? It's tiny, but it's adorable. Think. And just, there we go. All right, now I need to run to Target, although I really don't feel like it. I think I may just go home and do Target later. Oh, and my bra is out. 
Well, that was a pointless trip. I, and I see it sitting over there, left my wallet at home and I couldn't use my Apple Pay because my debit card that is hooked to my Apple Pay, sorry about the glare, um, is uh, a card that I don't use anymore because I just got a new one. I haven't linked my new card to it so I had no money while I was out, had no wallet, nothing. So everything that I had in my basket at Target, I basically had to leave without. <laughs> and I was gonna like buy cookie stuff to make cookies with the kids, couldn't buy any of it. So I'm back home now after going to Goodwill in the library and a pointless trip to Target. But anyway, I am just going to quickly whip up this balloon garland and then when the kids wake up, we'll just go from there. I ended up running right back out to Target because I had a reason. I wanted to buy a little notebook. And initially I thought I wanted to buy a day planner, but I realized I don't need a day planner because we have a calendar on the wall that helps me keep track of like our family appointments and things like that. Found this one. I liked this one, but this will be a to-do list book for me. There's stuff that I just want to accomplish every single day on certain days, and I don't need a page for every single day, so that's why I didn't want to get a day planner, but I just needed something to help me keep like my day-to-day -day tasks on, on track that weren't necessarily for appointments, but stuff around the house. So anyway, I also grabbed a bunch of flowers. They're looking kind of sad and sorry, but it's okay. I got some hydrangeas and some tulips more hydrangeas over there. So I'm gonna put them in this little vase and make a cute little arrangement. Okay, I had to take a quick break. Margo was screaming because she wanted me to put her to bed and not Brandon. But anyway, all right, let's try to do these flowers. Okay. Hey Google, are you supposed to cut tulips on an angle? I don't know, maybe I should put, get a, Color base. <laughs> this is so hard. They don't look that bad, actually. It's kind of pretty. Good morning. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Resurrection Sunday to all the believers out there. This is such a great day. It's one of my favorite holidays, especially as a Christian. Oh, my battery light's flashing, so I need to make this quick. It's just one of my favorite days to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and just so thankful that he died on the cross so that we don't have to live with the shame and the hurt of our sins. So yeah, it's just a great day. I can't wait to teach my kids all about this as they get older. Uh, I'm back on the camera now. It feels good. I was using my vlog, uh, my phone to vlog during breakfast and it was not. I don't like it. I never know where I, to look and the quality just is never quite right. The kids ate breakfast. Brandon had a little something I didn't because I didn't want to be full for lunch, which is where we're headed now. We did watch Church as a Family, which was really nice. And then we took family photos, just our Easter photo, which I can put right here on the screen. It's on my Instagram right now. Now we're headed to Chateau Elan for Easter brunch. sure to do that in the next vlog. This one is just very long for me. I usually like keep them at 15 minutes and I think we're over 20 at this point. I already started editing. 
So I'm just going to end the video here and we will pick up where we left off in the next vlog, although I'm not sure the next video will be a vlog. I think it's going to be a sit down video. But anyway, before I wrap up, I just want to remind you guys again, don't forget to check out the link in my description box for Ana Luisa's 40% uh, off buy one, get one or buy one, get one 40% off sale for Mother's Day. It's such a good discount for you to get some nice jewelry for you and your mom or the mom in your life. And as always, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.